Good morning. It is Adventure Goat 81, and today we are going to go play in the rain. We're going to go to explore the Lime Kiln Trail that I referred to when I did Old Robe Historic Trail. It is 6.7 mile round trip, so I should have plenty of time, but you know I like to play and explore, so we'll see how much fun we can have. All right, you guys, I am on my way. See you on the trails. is little granite falls. I have a feeling there's gonna be no one else out today. Trailhead parking. Yep, completely open. We are the only ones on the trail today. <laughs> Here's a map. So, the other day I was here at Old Rope Trail. So this whole area, this whole area is part of Rope Canyon Historic Park. And the Lime Kiln Trail is over here. So the parking lot where we are is here. And if you look up the map, you can't really see the trail on the map. However, Lime Kiln is here. This is where the old Lime Kiln is. And then there's another, I think, mile past it to get to the river. And this is the river that the old rope trail at one point connected with. So see, that says T1. Can you see that? T1 is tunnel one. We didn't get there because old rope trail is closed past a certain point and we only got to T4. Okay, it's raining. Are you ready to have an adventure with me? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> feeling I'm going to have some really fun puddles to play in today. I just love these trees. Gosh, look at that massive one right there. More mud. <laughs> Trail. So this is part of the grade of the railroad that was built 
1892 to 1893. Financed by Rockefeller. Down there is the river I can't pronounce. <laughs> I bet there used to be a bridge here. But instead, when it went out, they made this trail. This is fun. Guess who gets to go under a tree? Me. I get to go under a tree. Well, you don't really have to. See, you can go around. But it's more fun to go under. supposed to be showing you the lime kiln trail which I am but this is just turning into an Alicia play day check out these logs so fun check it out it's like you're going through a tunnel <laughs> and they're mud puddles at the same time this is so fun Oh, it's cool. That's pretty neat. Does anyone else see kind of like a creature holding a big spear? Today. 
What have we here? There it is. Let's go down here, and then I'm gonna climb up and explore a little bit. So the logging company that actually was responsible for would bring lime down from the hill and they would process it here in these kilns and then once it was processed they would use the same railroad and take the processed lime over to Everett to the smelters. take you up here and show you what is left of this lime kiln. Look how tall that is. That's really just for the smoke. Because they would use the lumber that's right here in the forest. And they put it down here and they process the lime inside. Let's go take a walk up here. This was probably another chimney. See. Ooh. It's all blacked in now. And there's another one on this side. Very similar. burn wood and process the lime. You can see the brick around the edge on this one. the foundation that they had built up when they processed the line here. Cavanaugh Timber Company. Once the lime was gone, they changed over to logging and brought timber across on the railway until the railroad shut down. Oh yes, muddy, muddy trail. There's a lot of mud. Bypass 
So I didn't take the Austin Bypass Trail because it's not marked on line count. But I went this way instead to keep on the trail. We can always circle back and find out what that is. Going under the log. Lots of cool spots to get down to the river, like right here. Whoop. Let's go see the river, just cause. <laughs> Let's follow this back up and see if we can find the loop. Single file only, please. Go check out the railroad edge. 150 feet this way. So cool. Okay. So this would have been like under the bridge. So there's the end of the bridge where it used to be, and there's another structure over there on the other side. So here's part of the bridge. Part of the metal framework that would have been the construction of the bridge. I 
at the end of the trail and I am back at the lime kiln. So I am going to head back to the car and get dry. <laughs> But before I did that, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed my adventures today. I do have to admit, it was more of an adventure go play day today, but the purpose was to show you the Lime Kiln Trail and take you to the end where the old bridge was. So I did that and it should have showed you how easy this trail is. So hopefully it encourages you to get out there and hike. These hikes are not hard, they're not far, and they're very accessible all year round. If you haven't yet, please feel free to click on subscribe down below so you can follow all my other videos and adventures. And I love to see your comments on what you like. And if you have any other hikes that you know of that I might not know of or I might not have gone on, I would love to hear that too. Next with me on Facebook and Instagram, I am AdventureGoat81. So until next time, we'll see you on the trail. So, note to self, when doing cartwheels on a bridge for entertainment and fun, make sure that your pockets are zipped shut. So I would have had quite the upset when I got back to my car. I just passed a couple and they said, excuse me, is this your key? I guess it would not have been able to drive home when I get back to the car. Oh my God. <laughs> Someone's watching out for me, being stupid. So they said, is this your key? I said, oh my God, yes. So now I can drive home. <laughs> that would have been so bad. All right, I just had to share that. <laughs> I'm wet, I'm cold. I'm ready to go home, warm up and dry off in the car. I have about a mile to go back to the car. But hey, the trail's a little cleaner. Picked up a big piece of plastic I found over by the bridge. Dragging it back. <laughs> well, it's not gonna fit in my bag. Nor do I want it to. Yeah, I'm ready to be done with the rain today. 